like 30 minutes. The keys aren't in it. He's going to go get them. Check it out really quick. We got something. What do you got? What do you got, Kevin's Brandon? Are you tricks. back? And Kevin's little bag of tricks right here. What do you got? Don't, don't, don't look. I can't. Show I'm, I'm looking. They're all looking, actually. What, what is going Everyone's on? Everyone's looking right now. All 69 viewers I got right the, now. I got the mega cap keys. Right oh, here. you got a mega cap keys. This. Okay. All right. What? What the? Oh, now I'm genuinely confused. I don't know what. I don't know what he's doing. I don't think they worked. No. Did they not work like you thought? I got I got it mixed up with <laughs> the other second gen key. Well, this is a crew cab second gen, not like your extended cab second gen. Wait, where is your extended cab second gen? In the extended cab parking. In the extended cab parking. Yeah. Are you sure? Because it looks awfully similar to that one right there. Oh, that might be it, but <laughs> that might be. Yeah, it. You can't see it because he might go home with it. I like, <laughs> I like that one. So, uh, Mr. Brandon Twenty Four Valve. I don't know if you guys know him. Uh, he's been out of the internet for like what? Is, what is the last time he posted? Three and a half years ago. You finally finished your truck. Big old shit box like it's getting there it's getting there 99.9 percent besides, .9 besides finish. Corey, you know he forgot that he could like pick up 250 pound dumbbells oh he ripped the door off a little more than the door oh god he grabbed this and this and it all snapped off <laughs> i hate when that happens that's okay nobody's looking at the interior they can't even see up inside of it does yours start oh yeah dude first pull ready yeah i'm ready <laughs> this thing's definitely tiny as f when are we gonna put a lift on this thing all jokes aside that thing turned out insane. It is massive. Hey, can you turn it off so I can hear? I can't hear. I can't hear myself think. Oh, there you go. Yeah, now I can hear myself. Remember them uh, 53s I told you to throw away? They, they look awfully similar to these ones. I went on a firm and I got denied. <laughs> then I went to my local credit union. They said, well, you haven't paid off your last four trucks. <laughs> and then I went to a GFP finance company. He gave me a... Uh, a one year don't make your payment loan. <laughs> and finally, they get on your ass and they either take them or you gotta pay them. So I pay them. Sick. They ended up somewhere nice. I like it. They spin. Shout out TIS. Not only is, uh, so this is a bit, it's half my truck, honestly. You got my tires and the thing that makes it move right there, the SDS gearbox, is also, well, what's mine? Yeah, you it paid was it. mine you since paid. the day that it came from my shop. It, it, <laughs> the day it hit my office, and I was checking out. I'm like, yeah, he's he's done. <laughs> forty inches of the lift. Yeah, like forty inches. Are I go like by the metric <laughs> ton. It's got obviously coilovers because anything other than coilovers is. <laughs> that, that's spin. about it. Nice. Four, four years ago, it was an idea, and now it is. Uh, it's driving. It's you driving. drove it here. Yes, I did all the way from Indiana. Twenty <laughs> fours. 53s, 40 inch lift, massive. Cr the cradle literally is the size of my house. Ginormous. Do you see the chain in it though? Can you? Hey, no, let me check. Chain test, right there. Much better <laughs> than doing black overlays. See, you learn. You Calvin learn. talked me into it, so I kind of had. To. I'm so glad you did. Polish wheels on this, it looks amazing. What do you call this thing? You gotta name it. Flippa. Flippa, because, you know, like like Young Dolph. Flips and you know. You R.I.P. Why not? Yeah, let's let's talk about the color. Uh, Tom painted it, right? Of course. Tom painted it. So it's got the like the Nardo gray, but yeah, I'm colorblind, oh, so that, that looks like blue pink. Uh, oh, no, it's not gonna do it justice. It flips like the R8. Gray. And now it's got blue. That's why I call it flipping. Blue, because it's flip it, yeah. and we're flipping Color your girl flip. to the back seat. Headlights are baller as fuck. Custom yeah, built. The T can do these too. Yeah, don't mind this though. Kind of. Uh, no, that's okay. That's just normal second gen thing like right the there. Got hexagons in it because Brandon uh, got an A plus in geometry, so he just wanted to incorporate that in his build. Bumpers off of LP twenty four B's truck from seventeen years ago. We got in like eighty five hundred psi car washer mm -hmm. at the Airbnb, and I didn't know that it'd blow off clear coat. It definitely from three did. feet away. So now you got to repaint the whole truck. Yeah, I used the concrete. So we're gonna paint it gold it. when we get home. Gold and green. <laughs> He's like, uh, where are those people at the airport that direct the plane? Basically this guy. Where's his flag? I don't know. He didn't just You're doing great, son. Hey, where's your key? I don't know. <laughs> We're currently waiting for Brian to come back because he forgets everything and then, uh, left my keys somewhere on the other side of the whole show. You guys only have two weeks left to get her to win Frosty, my 2018 Ford F-250 Limited. Sitting pretty on a 14 inch Elevate lift kit with coilovers in the front. 28 by 16 Liberty Forge wheels wrapped in 38 1650 Fury tires. Color match 2020 front end with a big ass cowl hood, custom headlights and tail lights. Inside it's got fully loaded limited leather interior with massage seats, iPad dash, 600 feet starlight headliner kit thanks to SDK light bars, and a big sub box underneath the rear seats. Custom piping underneath the hood, rock lights, train horns, and so much more. Not only do you get the title and the keys to the truck you also get ten thousand dollars in cash to do whatever you want with all you have to do to get entered is click the link above or in the description below today super simple and take advantage of our times two entry multiplier that means twenty five dollars when we get you ten entries you're going to be getting twenty so that's the last entry multiplier for the entire giveaway so take advantage of that sale and get entered today and who knows on april 20th i might be giving you a call telling you to come pick up your new truck and your cash good luck everybody and enjoy the rest of the video all right uh unlimited money pick anything in this booth go side by side we can drive it to get ice cream and go to the mall and probably put on the private jet to go get 
Ice champ. Chain number two. Uh, Coming soon. Kevin, you're a big dude. Go stand next to that side by side so they can realize how big it is. Uh, Kevin is 17 feet tall. So that's about 20 feet tall. He also weighs 673 pounds. Yeah, easily 30K. Really All that in that tiny little winch. That has to be rated for like five pounds. Big ass side by side. Familiar Jeep. Beautiful. Got a 4G with a flat bed. Another side by side. Side by sides are like it nowadays. If you have a side by side, you're definitely banging everybody. Yes. This is Kyle's wife's Jeep. It's got pro charger. It's nasty as hell. Brush wheels. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I heard she takes her kids to soccer practice in this Jeep every day. Single cab with a, I think this lift like glows in the dark. Another side by side. Light seat, they're a trend. This dually is actually my favorite. Every time I see it, I say that this is my favorite truck. In TIS booth, normally. It's on some eights, 42s. Massive resurrected fab lift. Double overlays, airbags. Probably will own this truck one day. As soon as this guy wants to sell it for not a million dollars. 5G that I also want to buy. With engraved overlays. Uh, Lumi Duty. Kind of looks like Frosty. Should enter to win that. And... Poppy's Garage Dually. This was actually in CJM 32s video the other day. And it's for sale. Then obviously my big 2G all the way at the end, but it has no key, so it's basically useless. They're probably gonna tow it away. I love every time I come to Florida because mega trucks are huge things in Florida as well. These two big behemoths. Kevin, another size comparison. Go stand next to them. These things are freaking massive. My God. And not only are they massive, they're like beautiful. They actually look really, really good. Like this one has chain sway bars. They're limiting strap. Oh, fuck. So my bad, my bad. Deep. It doesn't have the hydraulic step, so you actually have to climb up on the tire to get inside. Massive drop box, Two, tube chassis cradle, shit. More chains, very, 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 very nice. Shout out to my boys. So this one's a Duramax, and then this one is a Gasser. Pretty sure it's Pro Charge, makes like over a thousand horsepower. <laughs> massive flames out of that exhaust right there. That's a small truck for this show. You thought everything These bigger in Texas? What's big? crazy? These aren't the big ones. No, not at all. There's I saw one uh, when I was rolling in the R8. He almost ran me over, but it is probably twice the size of this truck. I think we need one. I'm done. Mega truck coming soon. So, but if we buy a mega truck, we need a semi truck. So kind of like a quarter million dollar idea. Oh, hey, Keith. Thank you. Trade you. You think it's gonna start? No, probably not. him fighting that intercooler boot for the 700th time off camera for about mm, an hour before we loaded up on the trailer. Sound about right? Eh, it was a little bit. I had to steal parts from him. Yeah, just. we now keep boost clamps in stock at GFP Compound. Just for me though. The owner of this truck has uh, more money than Toll Show combined. He has. This has his nice little daily on 30s. He was actually one of the first people on 30s. And then that big behemoth of a truck. He's getting ready to build a bigger one, they told me this morning. So he should be able to sell me this one. He won't sell it. He I just don't let it sit understand. in the shop and said it doesn't care. We're talking about the same dude that pays like 60 grand for a fucking fish tank. You ever see a mega truck with fucking floaters? I got back up for this one. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty tall. <laughs> when I build a monster truck big enough to uh, drag whistling ass in his front yard. I'm gonna copy this one. I'm gonna do these big tube arms or whatever you wanna call them and make it pretty. So then we look good. Not just like spray paint and shit with shocks that crack in half every time you drive it. Literally. And body rolls to where it leans over to the next county. It's gonna be a bad motherfucker. And it's also gonna be like, well, how tall do you think this one is? Like 13, 14? Mine's gonna be 20. I mean, this truck's well, barely I'm bigger well. than Megan, Good but horses. I drive mine to Culver's. Yeah. This frame is insane. It literally from here all the way. Uh, what do you even call it? Sheet metal tube chassis? I want to do the same style, but I want to do it four layers thick. If we do mine, we'll just buy, because mine's going to be a six door. It's going to have to buy like a hundred foot long CNC table. Frame. That's not a factory frame. I swear, I literally said on the way here, I'm going to have the only supercar at this show. And I was wrong. McLaren 720S. Is it wrapped the same color as mine too? Ain't no freaking way. That's insane. Looks like we're going home with the McLaren because uh, I would not mind a matching car. I think I answered the question, Kevin. I was like, do I like this car because of the wrap or do I like it because it's twin turbo R8? I think it's definitely the wrap. Almost 720 is just I love this car. Ooh, it's got the rainbow exhaust too. Riff titties. And he's from Georgia. Wait, this is old boys with uh, the handicap any level. No shit. Oh, hey, I didn't even notice my own truck. Oh, he finally got it done. I was like, there's only one person running a handicap plate on a 720S. I forgot it was this color. He just got it back. Hi, Casper. I'm not ignoring you. You just 
are way less interesting than a 720s this rainbow dude i can't go to these shows anymore because it's basically like face of marketplace in real life i have tried to buy this freaking mega truck like 47 times because i posted an instagram video of it and it got like 20 million views and then i was like oh i could probably justify buying this this thing's also sick hi rob this wrap looks awfully familiar at least the design of it i just can't put my finger on it speaking of wrap this is a slow poke and they definitely wrapped it white for the show and it is freaking disgusting it may look familiar this is the black one that i posted on instagram and tiktok and it blew the heck up and then everybody and their mother was like gabe please buy this and it's an l5p and i love it freaking wheels the size of my face 38 inch tall wheels i think these are five tons with 20 ton and yeah, hybrid this is one of the big boys it's like ginormous but also really really clean and tasteful the wrap looks amazing it's, it's got face plated wheels on the back side face plated wheels on the back hell yeah yeah, this thing's clean. Willwood freaking brakes. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm noticing a trend here. I am definitely truck and supercar. Life. I am. I am now into mega trucks and supercars. That's what catches my eye. I just walked past probably a couple million dollars in show trucks right there and didn't even pay attention to any of them. You know, to keep myself interested in this thing called life, definitely start switching over. The rock lights are ten feet in the air. I'm trying to figure out why it has a transmission you see him in the back because yes. monster truck i said no show truck are actually catching my attention but i lied because the owner of jtx has his truck here and this thing is out of this world so clean that girls be uh, looking at themselves in all the chrome now from the outside it just looks like a normal paint match duramax but from the frame down this thing is more expensive than the entire truck have you seen the drive shafts it is wild you see the oh my god have you seen the brakes jesus christ this is insane this is dumb everything the attention to detail on this truck is out of this world. Perfectly paint matched, not too much, not too little. Oh my God, looks like a freaking mansion underneath this truck. So the mega trucks are here to do mega truck pulls. So a lot of the trucks, they like to put like weight on their trucks, maybe like water tanks or sandbags. This guy literally put a front of a freaking dozer. What the f is that legal? Like, is that, is there any restrictions no, to this no shit? I could not imagine how much that weighs. There's water in it too? Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some money up on this guy. This guy's gonna do great. Put it in gear. 
I don't think he was ready because the guy didn't even drop his hands to go. <laughs> Definitely just trying to patrol for some hoes. Six Square Body said, no, not today. These are some really crazy tax write-offs. That motherfucker is nasty. All right, so which one's gonna win? The big Ford or the big Ford? The Ford. The Ford. I think your big white truck got dragged. They did. <laughs> Brandon won. Hey, oh, y'all bet? Yeah. <laughs> $1. Hey, do you think you can drive that one to like go get ice cream? Hey, you could, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's real money. You, you that is real money? Let's go. I don't give a fuck. You truck over there, unload that dude off the street. Let's go, awesome. boy. That's a Rolls Royce on a goddamn military truck. By the way, he's got some added weight, so I still, for some reason, think it's gonna be that one. I will pay two hundred dollars if the Rolls Royce ends up in the bed of the platinum. All the straps break, just slides into it. That was the most boring. F thousand dollar pull ever. He's sitting there holding the brakes yeah. hard and on the gas. I honestly don't care what this truck is up against, they're winning instantly just because of the wrap. Four of them. Okay, Ten of them. All of them. <laughs> we just buy the whole line. We can just sit in the front yard with all our friends. <laughs> yeah. I think my favorite part about these is they just don't give a f Don't. <laughs> like they're just perfectly okay with breaking them every single time they take them out and rebuild them when they get home. <laughs> It fits me. I like it. It's very flashy. And it matches my fit. The doors? Holy mother of God. Jesus. I like the interior too. Platinum, pecan interior. the brakes. I'm on the SCS. Oh, yeah. That bitch is nice. Good. That's my boy. Bye. Bye. I'll see you on the road. Yeah, I can see my ass from here. It's got a nice sound system. A couple tweeters. Nothing nothing too crazy or anything. Kevin, we should have stayed over there. I am terrible at financial decisions for you. <laughs> GTR, Mega Truck. The Lambo, I can't, you just did on your own. So this one, <laughs> yeah. purple, come on. Yeah, fuck. I, I fucked up. I wore the same outfit. It matches the truck too well. It like it fits me a little too well. Now it's got a, polish with like your chain. Well, yeah, you see, yeah. Some diamonds are good for you. We'll send the arms off to Ice Champ and get them. Uh, uh, I was thinking the logos, but uh, yeah, that's that's cool too. <laughs>